I grew up in Brighton on the south coast of England, which is already quite a cosmopolitan kind of uh, multicultural place. But especially at the time, musically, there was loads of jazz, loads of flamenco, um, loads of Irish music like Mandy Murray, uh, Nick Pinn. Um, and my family is a real big mix of Breton, German, Scottish, English. Um, I used to think there was a little bit of Irish, but my uncle John O'Toole wasn't a blood relation. But, um, like, so the, my, my grand played the accordion. Um, my family's always kind of been really into music, but um, none of them played professionally, and they wanted me to have a, a real steady job. Mm -hmm. But you know, music took over. Um, my family, uh, my I'm from Portsmouth, so again, south coast of England, um, ended up in London. My parents were um, both into traditional music, but more the kind of singing side of it. So they both sang in folk clubs and at festivals. My dad was a shanty singer, so sea shanties. We used to go to all of the big like tall ships festivals and things. Um, but through going to all of their gigs and folk clubs and festivals as I was growing up, I just got really into the music side. I started playing fiddle, but I immediately just drew towards um, Irish music and also played a lot of Scottish music as well. And I just kind of warmed more to that side of things, and it was such... All of the festivals that you get for traditional music across the UK and local sessions and local folk clubs, it's all such a mix, anyway, of music across the British Isles. Um, and I've got a little bit on my dad, a little bit of Irish blood, a little bit of Scottish blood, so again, we're both kind of a little bit of a mix, and we just, you know, ended up getting more into the Irish side of music. I'd say... I'd never really come up with a fully formed tune at once. It's usually just like a little, um, a few bars, something that kind of has a particular kind of melodic interest. Um, I think that can be, it's a tricky balance, perhaps finding something that's interesting the way the melody works. So it has a, it's slightly new compared to other stuff. And it needs to be not too new because if you want it to, sit with the other tunes in the tradition you don't want it to be too kind of out there and wild um, and then it's just kind of uh, wrestling it into the the format you know and then it's a bit like a, the pebbles on the beach like the, what you come up with straight away might not be how the tune ends up a few weeks or months later once you've played it a few times and if you start playing with other people like um, a lot of my tunes we recorded with Cross Harbour and so then I'm actually playing guitar mostly in Cross Harbour and then Sam and Orla, Sam Proctor and Orla McAuliffe will, will play the tune and they'll kind of start to round off the edges here and there so it suits the way they play and especially because I mostly write tunes on flute he'll start playing it on the fiddle and start kind of just moving things and moving the furniture around yeah, so that it makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. We actually met playing at an uh, Irish session yeah. in Brighton. We met at an Irish yeah. session, yeah. I just come. I've been playing with the Dave Manley band in the states, and just come back and was desperate to have some tunes. <laughs> and uh, little did I know that that we could have a uh, three months without tunes. <laughs> it's been um, nice, sort of being able to play together at home, but also for a lot of the time we just haven't really felt like playing. Yeah, so it's. it's uh, um, yeah, it's, been a, it's been a mixed bag. <laughs> Hi, it's great to be back in the Irish Cultural Centre in Hammersmith. Um, I'm Philippe Barnes, this is my wife Ali Barnes, we're going to play some tunes for you. Uh, we're going to crack on with The Midnight Accountant, which is a tune I wrote for fabulous baron player Tad Sargent. And then a couple of tunes that I wrote for my grandparents, uh, Eric's Jig and Joan Brodie's. Yeah.
thanks very much. Um, I was just thinking, we've been here quite a few times playing with various people, uh, Cross Harbour, the Fair Play concert, all jigged out many, many years ago. <laughs> Before it was all revamped and lovely. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of the typewriter for you now. It's the affectionate name for the metal flute in Irish music. So I'm um, going to crack on with a couple of tunes. First one written by a good friend of mine, Alex Percy, a fiddle player um, from Dorset, and it's called The Trip to Evesham. And then uh, one of my tunes, which was the first one to get picked up by another band and played somewhere else, and it's recorded by the Japanese group Ojizo um, and Kozo Toyota, and it's called Up. Okay. Still working. <laughs> One, two, three.
this is normally the bit where I take advantage of the, the clapping and <laughs> drink loads of water. I started to realise that doing everything online during lockdown meant that I could constantly have coffee and water all the time when I was teaching. And I'm teaching the Skype flute and just like drinking loads of water, <coughs> drinking loads of coffee. And now if I have to play a whole set of tunes without a water break, the mouth dries right up. <laughs> Nearly as bad as um, eating salt and vinegar potato. <laughs> um, next up is a tune I wrote for my other grandfather. Uh, it's from Brittany. Um, and he is from a town called Pontivy, and it's called Trip to Pontivy. Just have to imagine you're all going wild at home there. <laughs> Same tricks. Okay, now, time for something a little bit more trad. This is uh, starting with a set of slip jigs. Chloe's Passion, written by Dr. Angus MacDonald, and then Elizabeth Kelly's and Ryan's, also known as the Winnie Hills of Leitrim and lots of other names. And uh, okay. Ali's going to start these off. Mm -hmm.
heavy stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Just to mix things up a little bit, we're going to head down to the south of France, um, which is where I wish I was on holiday right now, um, with some tunes from the mountains, La Belle Hélène and Rigodon Mance. to uh, Bartok in the end there with the s sneaky G-sharps. <laughs> um, in case any of you are getting too comfortable at home. Uh, <coughs> we're going to finish off with a tune I wrote called Chalice Well um, to start and Ali's Reel to finish, which I wrote for <laughs> Ali. And uh, in the middle is Tempal and Glentin, which is a lovely Irish reel we got from the playing of Mick O'Brien and Quivina Riley. So uh, we'll leave you with these. You start. <laughs> 